Hey guys, welcome to the fifth video of my series on array indexing and in this video we're gonna be seeing that how do we index our numpy array so that we can fetch some specific elements from our array. So let us get started with it. So basically there are multiple ways of indexing numpy arrays and let us start with the most basic one which is positive tuple indexing. So it is much like the normal list indexing uh, but with a very small difference. So let us say that I have got a normal array like this, right? And now I want this element, this particular element, zero, which is here, right? So now what I need to understand here is that along the axis zero, I have indexing starting from zero up to three. And along the axis one, which is the columns, I again have indexing, which is starting from zero up to three, right? So the indexing is along both the axis. So I need to specify the value for both the axes so that I can get a particular element and that is what I'm going to do. So this is number two for zero. The first axis has the value two and the second axis has the value one. So all I have to do is specify array two one. So if I do this, I will get zero, right? And if you want to do it the normal list way, you can do that, do it that way as well, which is putting two here and then putting a one here, right? So in normal list, we can, this will work, right? But in the NumPy array, this, this will also, this is a more better method of indexing and it is called positive tuple indexing because two comma one is just like a tuple here, right? So if you had multiple dimensions uh, for your NumPy array, let's say you had a three dimensional array, then you must have specified two one zero for spec for getting a particular element, which is at this particular location. So this is the way of positive tuple indexing. Now this takes us to the concept of slicing, which you must have studied already in the lists in Python. So slicing is used to get a particular range of elements from a Python list. So in NumPy arrays also, we can do the same. So if I have an array like this, and let's say I want to get the first two rows from it. So what I do is I put array and I do colon two. So what does this mean is that from the first axis, which is axis number zero, I want the first two rows. So if I do this, I get the first two rows. And now if I want to get, let's say, if I want to get um, first two columns, which means minus one, two, 4 minus 0 0.5, 2 0.60 and 3 minus 7, which basically means that I want to do slicing along the column. Then what do I have to do? Um, what I have to do is that I have to put a colon here and then put a comma, which simply means that I want to go through all the rows, no cutting through the rows, but cutting should be through the columns. So for that, you can just put comma and then colon 2, so which simply means that I want the first two columns. And look at that, I get the first two columns like this. So this is the basic slicing that we have here. So here is a very simple diagram which explains it in a more better way. So let's say you want the first two rows and the first three columns, uh, basically a slice from your um, 2D array, which contains first two rows and first three columns. So you get this rectangular part by putting this, right? So if I just do array colon two comma colon three, I get the first two rows and the first three columns. So this is just like, um, cutting a rectangular block like this. So this is array slicing. And now let us come to a very special type of integer array indexing. So basically NumPy has some other than positive double indexing. There are a few other types of indexing techniques. And here is the one which is called array in integer array indexing. So let us take a look at it. So as you know that if I do array zero comma zero, I get the element as at zero row, zero column. But what if I do array and then I put a list here like one, two, three, and let me make it zero, one, two, three, and zero comma one comma two comma three, right? So will this work? First of all, that is the question. So actually it will work and I will get something. But now the question is, what am I getting here, right? So if you try to think logically, then you will understand that what happens is that there are two lists which have been passed for each axis. So what we do is that we take the corresponding elements of each list and try to find the element at that particular position. So the first element we find, try to find it is array zero, zero, which is minus one. Then we find array one, one, which is, as you can see, minus 0 0.5. So we put minus 0 0.5 and then seven and then two. So it is basically all the diagonal elements at zero, zero, one, one, two, two, three, three. So this is how integer array indexing works. 
and now um, finally there is something called boolean array indexing which is quite special and used in the pandas library as well which we will be covering in, in this um, which i'll be covering later in my on my channel so what happens if i do array greater than zero what is this um, gonna do so first of all it seems a bit absurd that you are comparing a numpy array with a single number right but if i try to run it look at that what i get i get false true false true something like that so what happens here is that when you try to do the comparison operation of a numpy array with a single number what happens is that um, we do element wise operation so each element of your array will be compared with zero here and you will get true false values so after that you have got a boolean numpy array which contains only true false values so now um, the thing about boolean array indexing is that if you put this kind of um, numpy array inside your indexing part which means inside the square brackets you get all those elements at which your numpy array was true so we get this particular element which is um, 2 so I get 2 here and then similarly we will get 4, 4, 6 and so on so all the elements for which we have true we will get all those elements as the output if we put a boolean array inside our indexing part of a given numpy array so this is called boolean array indexing and it is also quite cool when you want to just find all the elements which are satisfying a particular condition in your numpy array so yeah that's all about the indexing in numpy arrays and i hope the concept of positive tuple indexing integer array indexing and boolean indexing is clear if you still have any doubts you can put them in the comment section below that's it from this video. Thanks for watching.